Hi all, today we're talking about the Intratone SC01, formerly known as the Renovation Kit or Reno Kit. Uh, many may already be familiar with this model, uh, but Intratone have newly launched a one user kit suitable for a single residential dwelling. All features remain exactly the same in terms of specification, however this particular kit is limited to just one user license, which still boasts a huge 15 year prepaid calls and data package. This means no ongoing costs for audio or video calls and no subscription costs for the app use or the programming portal. In terms of specification, it contains a backlit keypad which will allow up to 40 codes, a MyFair proximity reader and a mobile key backup feature which enables the user to dial into the intercom to open the gate or door. The kit contains a 4G module, a central unit which houses the relay and uh, that 4G module comes with a 15 year prepaid contract. This allows for video calls and audio calls. So if the user was out of a service area for 4G or Wi-Fi and could not receive a video call, an audio call could still be made from the intercom to that user and they can still open the gate or door. Now, part of this kit, or the biggest part of this kit, I would say, is the programming portal. Uh, now, this allows you to manage the intercom. Uh, that allows you to program the phone numbers, the keypad codes, the proximity tags, and uh, completely manage the door entry system um, via an online platform. It's simple to use and is managed through a web portal. So all you need is a web browser and you will go to the management website, log in and you can manage all of your sites from the one login. To do that, simply go to intratone.uk.com. And once you're on the website, in the top right hand corner, you'll see a drop down menu that says management sites. Drop down and go to Intratone. And on this page here, you'll have a login screen and a section at the bottom there that will show you to create a new account. Uh, being as we've already set this up, I will simply log in and show you the programming portal. Once logged in, you'll have the welcome screen as the first page. Um, but I'll quickly go through the tabs on the left and just explain what these are. Uh, the account tab, it's kind of self-explanatory, but there is a benefit to going on here. There, there's a tab at the top which says my sub accounts. Now the sub account is for if you're an installer and have installed this for a, a customer and you want to allow them access to this to program their own numbers or tags, then you can create a sub account with limited access or as much access as you would like and give them their own login to change codes or mobile keys or phone numbers that the intercom dials out to. The next tab down is the manager search section and that will allow you to search for a name, phone number, FOB or transmitter throughout the entire database. So if you have hundreds of tags in there, it uh, makes it very simple for you to find a transmitter or FOB and add or delete as necessary. The properties tab here, I'll move on to shortly after, but that is where all of your properties will be listed. So if you have multiple sites, this is where they'll all be listed in a column. Authorizations I'll get on to shortly after, but basically this enables you to um, have as much access or as little access on a particular site as you'd like. So if you've got multiple entrances, you can offer a tag access to all the entrances or just to one entrance if you prefer, but we'll get onto that shortly after. Master keys is for when you have multiple sites and you wish a tag to have access to all of these sites, you can create a master key or master fob and that will work on all of the sites or all of the properties that you've created. Codes is for keypad codes, so you can manage the code for each keypad and so you could designate an individual code to an individual user and this will display when you go to the events list if they've had access at any time as well. You can go to the events list and it'll tell you which code has had access at which time. Time ranges, now this is a very popular feature and can be applied to various parts of the kit. So a time range can be applied to an entrance. Uh, this will allow gates to open between certain times automatically. So you could, for instance, if it's an automatic gate entry, you could have a gate open between 8 a.m. and close at 5 p.m. But you can also apply time ranges to things like FOBs and remote controls. So if you've got a staff member or um, someone that you only want to have access to 
uh, a property at a certain time, uh, then you can create a time range for them to only have access to the property between 8 and 5 p.m. The next one down is programming. Now, Intratone do offer a programming tool. This is a USB tool that you can plug in if you had 500 tags that you needed to add onto one system. It'd be useful to have this, this USB programmer because it just simply means that you can go through each and every tag without having to go and use the serial number off each. It'll just read the tag and enter it into the system automatically. Central units, this is to monitor the GSA modules and see if any need updating and carry out updates through. And notice boards and key safes, these are additional products from Intratone that you can purchase. A notice board will display a graphic and now have interactive notice boards as well that you can put questionnaires out on and that kind of thing. And key safes, it self-explanatory, is a, is a key safe that you can program codes to, etc. Um, starting from the start then, so we'll go back to the welcome screen and I'll show you how to program this intercom directly in. Uh, so the first thing first is we need to create a property. So we want to create a property and we're going to give this property a name. I'm going to call this test Reno SEO1. Address and comment box, they're kind of non-mandatory fields, so I'll leave those blank for now. And you'll see on here you've got three operating modes for your property. Now basic is for standard RF modules really. There's not many other devices that Intratone offer that you can use the basic setup in. But simplified and full. Now you'll see on here the simplified mode has got single building and full has got multiple buildings. So as the icons kind of describe, uh, simplified is if you've got one single property then that's the one to select. If you've got multiple buildings with multiple entrances in those buildings, then that's the option you go for. The purpose between, or the difference, main difference between these two is purely that you can add multiple buildings and manage the entrances quite easily and have them laid out in a format where you can manage them uh, nicely on the next page. So for this instance, because it's gonna be a single dwelling, single property with one user on it, we'll choose a simplified and hit save. So next page, nicely laid out. We've got the single building on the left. Main entrances will be described underneath here and flats, houses and villas underneath here. So this is where the apartments will be created. So what we want to do first is we want to create the main entrance, which will be the intercom on the front of our property. So I'm going to click add here and it will ask me what I want to add. Now, You'll have a, uh, an option to put in the contract number there, which should add everything automatically. But I'm gonna add the panel via the list below and you'll have little pictures of every single intercom that they do. And we're gonna add the top of the list one here, which is the Reno video panel and hit create. We're gonna give this entrance a name. So I'm gonna call this main gate. And then it will ask me to set up the central unit. So I'll hit set up here. It'll then ask me for the central unit type on the left from a drop down. Now the part that's included in the kit is the 03-0102. There are other central units supplied, but in the one user kit, this is the one we're choosing. And I'll show you a little picture or a little graphic of the uh, relay card or the central unit that's supplied there. Again, we're gonna give this a name. I call that main gate central unit. Change the language to English. Now, the central unit itself will have a serial number on the front. So I'm going to put that serial number in. Okay. Then you'll have a contract number as well, which is supplied with the kit. Now this can be located on the paperwork supplied, or if you've misplaced that paperwork, it will be on the back of the 4G module as well. So I'm going to enter that in now. Okay, should automatically come up with the telephone or module number below, which it has, and then I hit save. It's found what panel I've got connected and it is now ready to program. So I'm going to go back uh, into the property where I will now see the intercom listed under the list of main entrances. Okay. So the next thing, next thing I want to do is create a flat B. 
because this will house all of the information for the number it will dial out to and the tags, etc. So if I create, click create on there, scroll to the top and create a flat. And I will call this test renovation and hit save. Now I've created an apartment or a flat. Uh, you'll see here the information that it will store. And uh, that is the fobs and transmitters, which is pretty self-explanatory. And then the records below as well. Now the records is the information which the intercom will dial out to. So if I click create on here and select create a record at the top, it will ask me for the information that I want the intercom to store. So a name and username, you'll see it appear on here as it will appear on the intercom. You know, test flat one. And then I'm going to put a mobile number in there, as well as a secondary number that I wish to, for it to divert to. Okay. I'll then select which of these numbers I want it to make a video call to. Ignore the email address, that is for if you've installed the software, which is available upon request, but not predominantly used in the UK. You can put in a speed, speed dial number, but I'm going to bypass that for now. And you can select how you want it to display, etc. And where you want it to display on the module itself. So I'll change that and hit save. So now I have my record created for the numbers it's going to dial out to. So you can also create your fobs and transmitters in here. If you've got any proximity tags, you can create them in this section here. The transmitters you will not be able to do because this intercom does not have an RF module built in, but that's not to say that you can't add an RF module to the installation or to the kit. Now these are available. The 06-0129 is the product that you would need for that. And that bit has got built in RF into its own GSM module. Now on the side of each fob or tag, there'll be a serial number, which you'll enter in here. And the comment box below, you can put the name of that user or a reference for that user if you choose to, but it's not a mandatory field. It will then ask you for an authorization. Now the authorization, as I described before, is for if you've got multiple entrances and you want to give them access. However, you will require at least one authorization for your installation. So to do that, we're going to go into authorizations. I'm going to click add. I'm going to give the authorization a name. I'll call this full access. And then we're going to select what we want to have access to this. So I'm going to click on the fob or transmitter there for the main gate and press save. So now when I go back into my property and I go into the apartment and I click create, and click create on a fob or transmitter. It will then have the authorization there for the, from the drop down for full access. Now you can give that as much access if you've got multiple entrances or as limited access as you would like to. You can also give them a temporary time and date as to when you want to disable that fob, but we're not going to do that one today. And then uh, I will go back. So now I have my entrance created, my apartment created or flat created with the details in that I would like to put it to dial out to. The other thing I'm going to do quickly on here is add a keypad code that I want to enter in to operate the gates as well. So click on codes on the left, press the entrance you want to apply a code to, and then I'm going to add on keypad codes. There is an option for phone codes as well, and the purpose for that is, is if you've got multiple relays attached to the uh, intercom, which you can have up to four. So if you've got a pedestrian gate, you can add a relay to the intercom. And the purpose for the phone codes is if someone's called you or called through the app, you'll open a keypad through the app and enter in the code, whether it be star one for relay for relay one or star two for relay two, or star one for the main gate, star two for the ped gate. Um, but by default, you don't require that, and um, we're just going to apply a keypad code. So code is going to be one, two, three, four. Comments, uh, test. Again, you can apply a time range as to when you want this code to be active between. So if you did want to limit access to the property between certain times, you can go into the time ranges and create a time range for that code as well. Now I'll press save. 
Okay, so now I've got that listed there. Like I said, you can have up to 40 codes on this particular kit. Time ranges is another section here. So I'll show you quickly what you'd have to do to create a time range. Um, so again, I'm gonna call this test. Uh, I want it working all year round. And I want this to for my gates to open between 8 a.m. and close at 5 p.m. So if I go into define week and I will select 8 a.m and 5 p.m. There, you can add a second time range to here as well. So if you wanted the gates to open again at 6 p.m. to 7 p.m., you can, but I'm gonna leave that blank for now. If you want this throughout the week, then you just select the little orange arrow on the right-hand side and it'll copy it down to the next one. And I'll do that throughout them all. Now let's say I just want that Monday to Friday, but not on Saturday and Sunday. I'll just select that at 0000. zero, zero, zero. 12 to 12 then press save now you'll see back on this screen i've got the green area selected for when that's going to be opening between and two and i need to select what i want to apply this time range to which will be for main and secondary entrances like i said before you can have it on keypad codes alerts the call button uh, the names displayed on the panel and key fobs and transmitters. But for this purpose, I'm going to use this for main and secondary entrances. So the door is open within the green range and then press save. So now I've done that, if I go back into my property and I go back into my intercom, click on the little icon of the intercom here. There's a drop down menu here that says open access period. Now from this list, I can choose test, which is the one that I've created and press save. So now that this gate will open between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So that's all you need to do. That's, that's that intercom program now. There are obviously a lot more features and functions to this that you can use to customize the installation with. But for now, that's everything that I need to do. Apart from sending this update over, because this is not in complete real time, everything's saved and stored on the online portal on your login. However, now I've programmed this information to the online portal, I need to send this information over to the intercom. So to do this, the intercom will need to be powered up completely wired and ready to go. Assuming that's done, we go to central units on the left and it will tell you whether there is an update required if any information has changed by this little icon on the right here. So if it does require that, this little icon will be red. And when I press update, it will tell me what it's updating and how many homes it's ready for. And I press start update. When the update is going through, this icon will go yellow when it's completed it will go green which should happen shortly the 4g modules tend to update a lot quicker if you've got a just a proximity reader or an rf module which is on gprs because it's only using gprs data it may take a little bit longer but typically 4g modules will be updating uh, quite quick now to know that the update is going through on the 4g module itself there are a row of five leds which when it's receiving an update, will kind of do a disco dance through and you'll see the LEDs going up and down, up and down and flashing quite rapidly. When completed, it will go back to being a solid signal status, which will be either one for the lowest signal or five for the highest signal. And this doesn't automatically refresh. So if you wanted to check uh, whether an update has gone through, just click central units on the left hand side and that will refresh. So that's all you need to see about the programming for this one user kit. If you have any questions or queries, please contact us at our offices, or please do visit our manuals website, manuals.easygates.co.uk, which will have plenty more information on these kits. To stay up to date with the latest in gate automation and safety, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Twitter. Gather the resources you need at our manual repository, and shop online at easygatesdirect.co.uk.